You are my God, and I confess you. You are my God, and I exalt you. I will thank you, for you became my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to, and to you, brothers my and brothers and sisters, and I have that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my, thoughts, and in my words, and what, what I have done and what, and what I have failed to do through my fault, through, through my fault, fault through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession, and believing, may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, go out to the, all the world and tell the good news. Go, go out to all, all the world and, and tell, tell the, the good, good news. news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to the, the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news.
Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last night, after I looked at the readings for today, it's no surprise there's one word that struck me, and it's not the word that we usually associate with Thomas. I think he really gets a hard time. He gets a harder time even though he actually kind of did exactly what the other apostles did. And that was the word that struck me today, the apostles, that idea of the apostolic succession, that idea that we are founded on these 12 men, on their faith. We are founded on their faith. It's actually not our own faith. This is what we call renunciation of ownership. And this is the higher level of that. That we know with the three pillars, fasting, prayer, almsgiving, linked to the three councils, one of them poverty, the renunciation of ownership, that that's what we're called to do. We're called to give up, to not claim physical and material things as our own. And the more we're able to do that, the more we're able to freely give and to love, the less we're attached and run by things and influenced by things. The more that I can, if my car is not my own in ownership, then it's easier for me to lend it out to somebody or to help somebody move. I have to actually have time in my schedule for that. But that's what we also are called to not have ownership over our time. Those spiritual and immaterial things. It's not an ownership. When we say our faith, it's by relationship. It's by relationship to the apostles, to that foundation that we're being called to. Because it's so wonderful that I don't have to lean on my faith. My faith is weak. My faith falls short. I have doubts. I struggle. But the faith of the apostles. I do not have to see Christ. I do not have to put my hand in his wounds because of the faith of the apostles. 
because of my relationship to them, because I can rely on these men who I know Christ and God revealed himself to, that they are my brothers, I don't have to come up with it on myself. That's a great mystery and gift when we renounce ownership of things. That I don't have to have it. As long as my brothers do, as long as my sisters do, I can rely on them, rely on God to provide. So today, in prayer contemplation, what I would encourage you is take a moment What is your relationship to the apostles? What is your relationship to them as teachers, as brothers, in walking through this life of faith day in and day out? If they are that foundation on which our church is built upon, how is your life connected to that foundation? with hearts that carry the longings of this world, we present them before our Heavenly Father, that all the baptized Christians throughout the world may receive hearts aflamed by the witness and testimony of the apostles, filled with their wisdom and the life that drove them to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the world as we continue their mission. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders of our nation, political, economic, and social, especially those whose hearts are obstinate to the proclamation of Christ's love and his commandments, that their hearts be opened and softened to hear the wisdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries throughout the world that have been called and gone to foreign lands, may they receive the comfort in their times of distress and loneliness. May their minds be enlightened to learn new languages that they may be able to communicate as they wish and their heart's desires to those around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have yet to hear the truth of the gospel proclaimed to them in words and example and testimony, may the Lord have mercy on them, send them others to proclaim God's love, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who struggle under disability of movement and motion, especially those for whom this is new, may the Lord grant them his peace and give them comfort and confidence in him to be open to the love of others in service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who die this day, especially those who die in great tragedy, may they receive the prayers and companionship of the saints and angels to escort them and greet them to their heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this holy mass, for the eternal rest of Mo Corval, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, through your Son, you called from among men twelve apostles to be your voice, to proclaim and give witness to the testimony that through them they may be a foundation on which we can rest and we can rely, that it is not up to us to discover your great mysteries, but in union with them, we may receive their intelligence, their knowledge, their understanding, and through them, 
this entire world may now have hope of salvation to be reunited with you according to your image and likeness from our beginning. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the Holy Church. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver but us deliver from us every from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all the stress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
bring your hand and feel the place of the nails, and do not be unbelieving, but believing.
Let us pray. O God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Thomas. Amen. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.